there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking Matthew Knowles, Beyonce's dad, I, the proprietor right now of Destiny's Child, and his comments uh, a few hours ago on Destiny's Child. I, Matt on his Instagram has been highlighting uh, different women for Women's History Month. He started with Solange, then went to Beyonce, then went to Blue Ivy, then went to Tina Knowles, and today is the lucky day for Destiny's Child to be recognized. Except for the only people that Matthew knows considers Destiny's Child is the three people in the photo. No mention in all of the paragraphs and all of the thesis for the reasons that he is proud of Destiny's Child embarking on nearly 25 years in the business and praying for a reunion tour so you can get those coins. I, you do not mention Latavia or Latoya. And, 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 and I find it very interesting, right? And, and there's a lot of negativity in the comments and saying people are haters and blah, 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 blah. And people can't celebrate nothing. No, 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 no. This is the problem. You are a part of the problem that many black women are not able to be celebrated because you sabotage them in favor of your daughter. Allegedly. And what many people who have said it in the music industry. But that's a conversation for another day. But we can talk about that in another video, right? But I have a bigger problem with the fact that Latoya uh. and um, Latavia uh, co-wrote 10 of Destiny Child songs. And in particular, uh, three of what you can argue their biggest hits, right? They are co-writers on Bugaboo, Bills, 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 and Say My Name, uh, in which two of these songs went number one, in which Say My Name won two Grammys. So, so none of that uh, had anything to do with Michelle Williams, and it's no shade. Because you guys had a long-term number one hit with uh, the Charlie's Angels theme song. And, and Bootylicious, right? So, so it's not shade. But you keep throwing shade. You and Tina Knowles, you guys always do this. You always find a way to tear down other black people and, and hyping up who you prefer. And it's always messy. I, it's no shade to Michelle, but Michelle would not be here if it weren't for uh, Latavia and, Lata uh, and Latoya. And, and real talk, she possibly wouldn't have been here had there not been all the issues that were going on behind the scenes with Destiny's Child. Like, we need to keep it a buck for what it was. A and what people saw and what the dynamics in the group were. So despite all of that, they still were able to coexist for as long as they could co-write those 10 songs two of those being number one hits one of those songs uh being a, a award-winning grammy song two grammy awards for it and another a top 10 hit technically top five hit but why do you always have to insist on being messy and this is not just for you this is everybody around beyonce circle because beyonce is on the mute challenge still uh, but again, you can't tell me that she doesn't express or feel some of these things that, uh, you know, Matthew Knowles, Tina Knowles, and Jay-Z continues to put out there in the public on her behalf. And this is why Beyonce gets dragged. This is why Beyonce catches strays. Because this was unnecessary. And the biggest issue that I have about this right now is Beyonce just did her Renaissance tour last year, correct? And didn't the Houston show, it was all about this big reunion with Destiny's Child, right? And, and there, there's all these pictures and, and all of this acknowledgement of Latavia and Latoya Luckett. And, um, you know, a lot of the people that worked with Destiny's Child back in the day to make things happen. And, and we were supposed to celebrate all of this. And then they released pictures of them all taking pictures as a group backstage, really trying to show, hey, there's no beef, there's no bad blood, there's no issues, this and that. Uh, you know, it would be nice for us to tour with all five members. Dream girl style, right? That, like, that was supposed to be the energy, right? 
But then when you make posts like these, it tells me that either Destiny's Child is never going to reunite, or this is the only version of the Destiny's Child you want to see reunite, and I have an issue with that. Because, again, it's no shade to Michelle or her contributions to the group or, or anything. But to blatantly ignore Latavia and Latoya as if they were not around for several years, grinding with you guys, trying to make it work, trying to make it in the industry, and co-writing 10 songs, uh, four Destiny's Child, three which are some of their biggest hits... Two of them that went number one, another one that went number three, uh, one that won two Grammys off of their work, off of their dedication, off of their co-writing, that hit. So you want to tell me that, 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 you know, that they have nothing to do with Destiny's Child and we should only look at Destiny's Child from the point Michelle uh, Williams joined to now, but it's still 25 years, so obviously somebody was there all those years prior to Michelle Williams getting into the group. Make it make sense. And then you further tried to sabotage Latoya Luckett when she went solo because she had that hit, Torn, and everybody was hyping it up because it was a great song. And, you know, she had an album come out and there was some rumors that there was some sabotage because somebody else had an album coming out a couple months later and they didn't want that to be overshadowed. So again, can we keep it a book? And why, if you're going to celebrate Destiny's Child, can you at least include LaToya and Latavia? They weren't just there as background singers, people. They weren't just there contributing background vocals to the group. No, they were in the studio songwriting and helping contribute to the song's overall success. And... You know, Beyonce wasn't out there. She wasn't the only person out there singing. She wasn't the only person of Dusty's Child Tory. So, so we need to keep it a buck, you know, for, for what it is. If you're going to truly celebrate 25 years of Destiny's Child, you better include Latoya and Latavia's name in it. Because this is utterly disgusting. And this is the self-righteous behavior. This is the arrogant behavior that turns off fans. It's unacceptable. It's absolutely unacceptable. And that is why you're getting lit up in the comments because people are like, what about LaToya? What about Latavia? Where's their recognition? And I bet some of you didn't even know that they co-wrote 10 songs for Destiny's Child. And co-wrote, were the co-writers on Bills, Bills, Bills and Bugaboo and Say My Name. Bet you didn't know that, right? And then Say My Name won two Grammys. And Say My Name, and even of, even though technically, uh, you know, you can argue some bigger hits or whatever that you consider of Destiny's Child. But guess what Destiny's Child song they still play today on any given radio station, anywhere you are in the country, if you are in a store, department store, wherever, and they play Destiny's Child, guess what Destiny's Child song you're going to hear? Say my name. On the karaoke's that they sell for, for R&B and pop songs, and, and they have a Destiny's Child song on there. What song is on there? Because I used to have a karaoke machine. Say my name was on there. Was on that CD. So again, that was an iconic song that still is a song that ages well today. It's still a song that's applicable today. And I, uh, it needs recognition, and the recognition needs to include Latoya and Latavia. Destiny's Child was not just one member or just three members after Latoya and Latavia were no longer in the group. No, 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 no. We aren't going to do that today. We are not. But this is the; these are the shenanigans that you and your ex-wife and Jay Z pull. When you think you're just if uplifting, you know, Beyonce and all these things, but you find a way to tear down the other black people in the process. And, and you act like you're completely clueless about it. You act like you have no idea why there's backlash. And you know exactly what you were doing with this post. You know exactly what you were doing with specifically choosing this picture of only three Destiny's Child members.
and only choosing the Destiny's Child members that you feel were relevant to the success of Destiny's Child. And deliberately not including two other members that this would not be what it is without them. If we're keeping it a buck, you guys. So, so through all of the things that they had went through, where people had to have their hair cut off so they didn't outshine Beyonce, where certain people got more lead vocal opportunities than others to showcase Beyonce. Like, we can talk all about it. But you are not going to disrespect Latoya and Latavia. I will not have it. And it's just funny how hard they're going in the paint to defend Beyonce anytime there's controversy, anytime there's issues and people feel that Beyonce is trying to do this or trying to do that. And they are the first ones in the comments, primarily Latavia, the first ones in the comments on the shade room, on the neighborhood talk, defending Beyonce to the depths and in and, and, and the opportunity to acknowledge her. There's always crickets. So, so what is the point? It's like you want to erase Latoya and Latavia's existence and I can't for the life of me understand why when three of their biggest songs are because of them. <laughs> They're also a part of the responsibility of those songs being the hits that they were. So again, make it make sense. It does not to me. So there is that. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.